Well, it's working fine and it's really easy to uh, to pick up. So I'm not a, a software guru, but even for me it was doable. I was actually looking for a small switch that could be part of our design. Uh, so I went directly to the library that, that is available. And it was easy to drill down and find a, a switch that could be a perfect candidate for our job. So that's what I did and I picked it up and transported it into the, uh, into the design platform. There's one thing which I think is pretty neat that I've not seen on any bit of other bit of software is um, you, can, you can create a design like a cube or something like that and then rather than having to try and figure out how to make all of the walls exactly one millimeter, you click a button and say turn, basically excavate this shape and it goes and turns it into a shell. And I haven't seen that anywhere else and you just think that's great, that makes my life a whole lot easier and that's, that's very cool. One of the things I like a lot is how you place components in the structure. Compared to other tools that are on the market, you really need to think where I do place a, a part or an assembly or, or even a solid or something. You, you just start creating and then when you're finished, you move it into the right position. That, that's pretty cool. One of the features I really like. Well, one of my favorite features that's proved really valuable today, especially, is the cross-section features. You know, because we're creating assemblies that have multiple parts. So the ability to view parts uh, where you can actually see what's going on inside of them makes it really easy to see how stuff intersects, you know, collides, and then make the necessary changes.